morning to you, Aaron. We're actually about a thousand feet below the summit now because we arrived at the summit to see the sun rise and it was stuck in the clouds. I don't know if you could see it back there, but the entire summit is covered in clouds right now. So we come down a little bit, but take a look at the sunrise here. It is absolutely gorgeous. And Mount Washington is doing what Mount Washington does right now. The wind is gusting at about 50 miles an hour. I am wearing winter clothing because the temperatures are in the 30s and the wind chills are far below that. Let me bring in David Lotman right now with Northeast Mountaineering. He is my guide today. I did not do this by myself. Thank you very much for doing this. So describe to me what we found when we got to the summit. Well, uh, we got up there and it was typical Mount Washington weather. We were socked in the clouds, about 100 feet of visibility with uh, winds hovering around 50 to 60 miles per hour. And uh, wind chills were about 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, and this is pretty typical for this time of year. Oh, this is classic Mount Washington weather for sure. Yeah, and we needed to gear up big time. We wore like total winter gear to do this, even though it's just the beginning of fall. Yeah, that's correct. This is that time of year that's really kind of bordering on winter conditions. Uh, we can get snow up here any month of the year, uh, so it's good to come prepared. Yeah, what do you think of this view? Oh, this view is amazing. Totally worth getting up at uh, one in the morning. Uh, yeah. David, David Lotman is my guide today. Big thank you, by the way, to the folks at the Mount Washington Auto Road. They opened up early so we could come up here with all of our camera gear. They also offer rides up here if you want to take the easy route. You don't have to hike up like we did. We went up about 4,000 feet in what, three and a half hours? Three and a half hours, uh, 4.2 miles, 4,000 feet of climbing with the intent of seeing the sunrise, but we had to come down a little bit. We dropped down about a thousand feet off the summit to get under the cloud uh, cover, and now we've got the view. Awesome, David Lotman, thank you very much. Big thank you to the folks at the Mount Washington Auto Road. Again, if you want to take a ride up, you can do it that way. You can drive up. They also offer tours. You also take the Cog Railway as well, or you can hike like we did, but we'll leave you with this gorgeous view, guys. It is so nice up here. Even though it's freezing, take a look at that. Back to you. Okay, and Christian Shepard up there with all the gear. It's not easy to carry all that <laughs> stuff up to Mount Washington. And, and one note for you, uh, Mount Washington this morning dropped to 32 and had their first icing event of the season. You have to go all the way back to late June, the last time they did it. So they did that this morning, and Sean was there to see it.